Hey my school subs, welcome to Road, of, Road to Max episode 11. Uh, today, right now, um, I'm starting off this commentary uh, doing some Slayer at uh, the Slayer Stronghold. I'm killing uh, Calphite Guardians. I have, um, let's see how many I have left. 24. So I have 24 of these guys left. Um, and I'm probably going to try to finish these in this commentary. Uh, but I'm actually, uh, as you guys can see, I, I bought a decked out ass version of um, range gear. Uh, I bought the fucking range boots, Odium Ward. I didn't even know how expensive this thing fucking was, but it's six something mil, 6.2 or something. Um, armor deal chest, armor deal chain skirt, armor deal uh, crossbow, and uh, yeah, basically everything else I already kind of had. Um, but guys, guys, today I am going to do something pretty fucking crazy on my Road to Max series. Um, that I haven't ever done before, but I'm going to really, really focus on this series. Um, these, I'm basically just going to, uh, my channel is basically going to be two types of videos at this point. Um, at least for a while, uh, while I'm, um, really focusing on this, uh, Road to Max series. Uh, partially the reason I'm focusing on this series so much is because Jagex did say in one of their live streams that they were definitely going to plan on making, um, a Max Cape and Completionist Cape, which is fucking awesome, which is I really have to focus on, uh, Achievement Diaries, and, um, that means I'm going to have to really focus on my damn skills, and whenever I have armor, and whenever I have all this shit, I, for some reason, always get extremely sidetracked, and I never get to getting the skills up that I need to get up, so I'm going to do something fucking crazy right after I'm done um, killing these Kel fights, and that is sell all of the gear that I have in my entire bank. Um, however, I am probably going to keep small things like Furies, and I don't want to have to unimbue all these amulets and then re-imbue them, because that's just a waste of uh, Nightmare Zone points. Um, but I'm going to even sell like you know that DH set that I just have lying around in my bank, because I don't want to be motivated at all to end up um, doing anything uh, melee related or combat related for a long time. Uh, I just really want to focus on my skills because right now, um, this may not seem like too much, but this is going to take me a long ass time. Uh, these are all the skills that I need to do in order to get, just get um, all the elite uh, achievement diaries completed. Um, and that doesn't account for me actually doing them all, which will also take a long ass time. And then from there, I still have a lot of damn skills I need to end up completing. So. Um, I'm gonna do something crazy and sell all my fucking gear, basically. Um, but right now, uh, this is a completely side note, but I'm really fucking sore, and I have a lot of homework, so I gotta kind of rush this commentary. Um, but I do wanna tell you guys what I, my plans are for RuneScape, and basically what I, I'm going to do, because I know I switch up my plans constantly, so that's probably a bit confusing to those of you, but I'm really trying to commit myself this time by selling all my shit, so this is... I'm going to try to say the exact order in which I'm planning on um, completing my goals. Um, so first of all, what I'm going to end up trying to do is complete 80 Hunter. Um, that's a really easy one, and then from there I'll have 80 plus all skills, so that would be great. Um, so when I'm done with that, I'll basically have, yeah, no, I will definitely have 100% um, certainty that I will have 80 plus all skills, which is um, honestly I think a pretty big achievement, it, even for just like... Um, those really good RuneScape players, so I'm glad that I'll, I'll be on par with uh, those people's accounts. Uh, as of right now, I am actually, let me check, because I'm on Orion, or uh, OS Buddy. Um, I am ranked 667 in the entire game right now, um, and I want to pull that shit up, guys. I need to really work on RuneScape, um, but I also have to focus on school a lot, so whenever I'm not doing school, I'm just going to really try to play a bunch of RuneScape, because um, I have so many things I need to do, but regardless... So, I'm going to try to knock off Hunter once that's done. Um, what I'll do, and the reason I'm doing this so soon, is because I just want to stop all combat completely. I want to get 99 magic, or uh, at least 96 magic. Uh, I know that's technically combat related, and I'll need to buy some gear for it. But I will be doing uh, using Void, which means before I need to do that, um, I'm basically going to do Western Provinces up to Hard, which means... Uh, right after I'm done with 80 Hunter, or I get 2 mil XP anyways, but you know, basically 80 Hunter, um, I'm going to have to get the hard western provinces done, and then I need to head over to Pest Control, get uh, 400 points, and then, uh, I don't know if it's like imbue or whatever, but you do something, you buy something from the Pest Control shop, and you turn your void into Elite Void, so that will be really nice when I get that out of the way and just done with. 
Um, so then I'll have my Elite Void, and then I gotta get a Ruin Pouch from fucking PKing, which is gonna be a pain in the ass, but, um, I gotta do that as well. Um, come on, let me fucking pot up, man. Come on, man. Uh, <laughs> but, so, I need to get my Ruin Pouch done, and then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna invest, I, I think it's like 20 mil, I'm not entirely sure, but I have enough money, I know for a fact I do, I just probably didn't want to before because I really didn't want to have to spend any of my money but it's not like I'm a, I don't I sell money or anything I just like to have a bunch of money on my account so I just wanna uh, you know it's just it's like I'm committing to spending an ass load of my money on skills now which I really didn't want to have to commit to doing before but in all reality the reason I wanted to play this game was to max out and I'm not really putting any effort into that so I really need to put effort into it um, and that's really what I'm just going to try to force myself to do. So, um, right after I'm done with, uh, getting my magic done, I will then have only thieving, mining, agility, and slayer and fishing. So slayer is, um, going to be the last of all those ones I do because that is going to be the point where I get all my money back from skilling and I'm going to probably buy bandos, um, AGS, and all that shit back. Um, but that means, because I'm probably going to spend a decent amount of money on getting a bunch of my skills up, I'm going to need to do a bunch of rune crafting again. So uh, when I'm done with my rune crafting, that's when I'm going to start um, doing my slayer. So that's going to be the last skill out of all of those ones I do. But when I'm done with that, then I'll basically have all of my achievement diaries completed, or I'm going to at least try very hard to. Um, although I still need to do my desert achievement diaries to increase efficiency at uh, Pyramid Plunder. So there's a lot of different miscellaneous little things. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to uh, work out right now, but I need to start somewhere. And that starting somewhere means investing uh, a bunch of my fucking money into my skills. So that's basically it. So when I'm done with that, um, I'm either going to do mining or thieving at that point in time. Um... And then either one, vice versa, I don't know which one I'm going to do first, but those will, I'll, I'll probably intertwine them and do them, you know, I'll get you know, 82 mining and then I get fucking 85 feeding and then finish off mining and then, you know, you know how that shit goes, guys. You just don't want to do one skill for fucking ever. Um, I'll probably just inter uh, change them. Uh, and then I have to do, let's see what else I got to do. Uh, fishing. Fishing, um, that one's going to be a pain in the ass. I might just end up getting 99 fishing at that point as well, so... That, as you guys can imagine, from 88, that's going to be, honestly, like, at least a solid month of fishing. I don't know how long that's going to take, but I'm going to probably go the monkfish route, um, or the barbarian fishing route. I'm not entirely sure yet. The thing is, is I really fucking hate dropping fish. Um, and I know that's really lazy, especially for someone who's going for max, uh, cape to complain about, but I'm, I am just in general, I want to enjoy RuneScape when I play it, but I also want to be efficient and get shit done. So I gotta, I gotta take the, the in-between road, and, um, I also be making money from Monkfish. So let's be honest here, if I can make some money and enjoy myself a little bit more, I'm probably gonna do that. Um, but it all does depend, because I honestly prefer the, uh, just, like, looking at barbarian fishing i think that's a more enjoyable thing to actually do than like sit there and fucking cast my net at uh monkfish but um barbarian fishing is significantly more efficient and it helps uh with agility so um i i might end up just doing that anyways i have not quite decided but you know it's 50 50 honestly at this point i might even do a little bit of both so uh but yeah after after i'm done with uh fishing or agility which either one i end up deciding to do first um then all I really have to do is Slayer, um, and then uh, I'll probably do Slayer, I, I don't know guys, I might end up boosting up Slayer, or uh, another thing I might end up boosting up is Agility, um, because I do need to, I do want to get the, uh, uh, complete the Ardogan Achievement Diaries as soon as possible, uh, because then I can get that nice ass cape. So, uh, yeah, that's basically the goal as of right now. This video is getting pretty fucking long, so I'm going to probably finish off this task really quick, go to the GE, end up selling it, and show you guys what I uh, end up investing my money into. So you guys just don't have to hear me talking for 17 hours and rambling on about stuff. But I'll be right back and uh, pause the commentary and show you guys what's up. So, be right back. Hey, guys. So I ended up just selling a whole bunch of the range armor, and I have all this shit in the collection box. Oops, wrong thing. Damn it. Collection box. So, let's see how much money I end up having from all that. Holy fuck, 126 mil. And um, I was going to sell this stuff as well. I don't know how much this stuff's actually going to go for. 
Um, I, I don't really care too much though. I was just gonna do it just because I have a bunch of those and because I'm not going to be doing a whole bunch of um skilling or, or you know combat related stuff for a while, I just figured I might as well sell them. So let's uh collect the money from this shiz. Um and I don't know, I have a lot of damn cash actually, so um I'll figure out what I'm going to buy with this and I will be back shortly. Let's see if I can get this to 130 mil first though. Let's see. Come on. Don't please, 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 damn it. Please do this for me. Wow, holy crap, snakeskin boots are fucking drop worthy. Wow. Was not expecting that, honestly. That was wow. Alright. Let's see how much this actually is in total. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. This will this'll work. This'll work. I promise. Please. You decide why do you hate me? <laughs> steel these steel doors hate me. Let's do this. Please. Sell. Oh my god, I'll figure a way. I'll be right back with 130 mil. Alright, so I just sold uh, some Herbalore stuff. So, um, 113, 113 mil cash. Um, and I'll do some math, guys, and be right back with um, a bunch of banked stuff. <laughs> hey, Muscle Subs, here I am back literally like two hours later. I should not have spent this fucking long trying to figure out what to buy. But um, I have exactly uh, 31 point something mil left, point, oh, almost 32 mil left. Um, and basically what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to get 80 hunter or 2 mil hunter XP, uh, sell those chins, and then with that extra money, I'm going to end up buying 90 construction because I, it's uh, 33 mil. Um, I did all the calculations. I need uh, 23,904 uh, mahogany planks, so I'm going to do mahogany tables up until 90. Uh, cause it's not that expensive to be completely honest with you. I mean, 33 mil is a lot of fucking money, but, um, honestly, I just, I'm going to spend a bunch of money on my skills, um, cause I made the money and I might as well spend it, you know? Um, so after all this, I'm going to do a bunch of fucking rune crafting after knowing with all these skills I ended up buying, but, um, yeah, so what I, I, I bought, um, 99 magic and 99 fletching. That's, uh, what this is and that's, uh, what all these ruins are for. I'm going to basically burst it. Uh, I, I switched over and got the, um, where, where is it? No, it's, it ran off now. But I had, um, I got the hard task for switching prayer books, um, or not prayer books, um, magic books. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it, guys. I wanted to buy, uh, 90, uh, 90, uh, crafting and 90 fire making, but my, uh, funds did not quite, uh, get that far. But honestly, after I'm all done with this, I'm going to be really close to 90 plus all skills, all I'll really need is a uh, Slayer, which I'll, I'll end up getting from uh, Achievement Diaries anyways, so that's that's fine. And um, I'll need a few more mining levels, and I need I'll need the ten wood cutting levels. But besides that, I'm I think I'm already then I would be ninety plus all skills because I'm getting prayer uh, and construction up. Uh, I all I guess I have to do ninety hunter too, but that'll probably be the last one I do to be honest with you, because um after I'm done with the this uh little thing of hunter I'm about to do tomorrow or whenever the fuck I end up doing it um I'm gonna be basically done for, with Hunter for a while but anyways this video is really long so thank you guys who watched it all the way to the end I appreciate all of you very much subscribe to become a swell sub today peace out and thanks for watching